OK, for this part of the question then, we're given that y equals x plus 3 times x minus 8, all divided by x, where x is greater than 0. And we've got to find dy by dx. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to expand the brackets out on the top here. So if we just say equals x times x, well, that's going to be x squared. Then we've got x times minus 8, which is minus 8x, plus 3x, so that's going to be minus 5x. And then 3 times minus 8 is going to be minus 24. And then all of that is divided by x. Now there's several ways that you can go from here. Certainly don't make the mistake of differentiating the top and then dividing it by the differential at the bottom. That's going to be totally wrong. What you've got to do is try and express this as three separate terms. And one way is because there are three terms all over this one term x, we can think of this as x squared divided by x minus the 5x divided by x and the minus 24 divided by x. It's not the only way though. Some people might decide that they want to take an alternative route here. And I'll show you what that could be. You could come off this and think of this as x squared minus 5x minus 24. Put that in brackets and you're multiplying this by 1 over x. And 1 over x is the same as x to the power minus 1. So you're going to have this as x squared minus 5x minus 24 times x to the power minus 1. We'll come back to this in a moment. But if you took this way, okay, by dividing each term by the x, then we can say x squared divided by x, that is x minus 5x divided by x, the x is cancelled, just leaving we with minus 5. And for this one, minus 24 over x, well we've got to change this, we've got to change this into the form x to the minus 1. So that's 24 multiplied by 1 over x, same kind of idea as this, which is x to the minus 1. But if you had gone this way, Look, you can get this answer because you would multiply the bracket out x squared times x to the minus 1. Just add the powers and you'd get 2 added to minus 1 is 1. So x to the power 1 or just simply x. Then for this one, minus 5x to the power 1 times x to the minus 1. Well, that's going to be 5x to the power 0. 1 and minus 1 is 0. Anything to power 0 is 1, so you're just going to be left with minus 5 times 1, which is minus 5. And here, if you multiply this out, you've got minus 24x to the minus 1. So either way, you should end up with this for y. Now we just need to differentiate this, and each of these terms is in an acceptable form for differentiating with respect to x. So dy by dx is going to equal, well, x to the power 1 is just going to differentiate to 1, OK? A constant goes to 0. And for this one, what we do is just multiply the power by the minus 24. So minus 1 times minus 24 is going to be plus 24. And then subtract 1 from the power, so that's x to the power minus 2. Now it says write it in the simplest form and I wouldn't regard negative powers ever as being simple. So we would want to change that. So we've got the 1 and this is 24 multiplied by 1 over x squared, the negative power rule. Remember x to the power minus n is 1 over x to the power n. So if we've got power minus 2, it's going to be 1 over x to the power 2. And we could multiply that with the 24 and get 1 plus 24 over x squared. And that's in a simple form. Personally though, I would take that one step further and 
let's just say we carry on with dy dx. I'll take it one step further because we've got two terms here and we can really put it over a common denominator, lowest common multiple what we've got here, it would be x squared. And so we'd have in place of that one x squared, so that x squared over x squared gives us the one, and then plus the 24. And I would argue that this is simpler than this purely because this is one term as against two terms here. But they're happy to accept this version, okay?